Here at the Cryptic Files, we don't aim to prove or disprove anything. Simply show the evidence for you to decide. So with that said, let's get started. File 1 Chris Holton of Haunted Earth TV was setting up some B-roll footage for a video project he was working on. The video was recorded in St. Stephen's Chapel in Suffolk when he accidentally caught something really quite remarkable. Chris is filming with the altar behind him and down the length of the church. Notice too, it's actually broad daylight. This is no nighttime ghost investigation. Did you see it? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't. It's quite small and quite quick. But there's actually several things going on. You may have noticed a light anomaly in the doorway to the right. But there was something else just before it. It almost looks like a hand weaving. Indeed, that's what Chris thought. It should be noted that Chris is not exactly a paranormal investigator, although his channel is more about ghostly tales of the supernatural, as well as some more documentary-based episodes. So not sensationalist at all. In fact, that's quite deliberately his intention. Nevertheless, he's clearly caught something very interesting here. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. You can find all of Chris Holton's Haunted Earth episodes over on his YouTube channel, which is listed in the links below. File 2 Sometimes paranormal footage is found in the most unlikely of places. In this particular case, the footage comes from a back room of the Victoria Palace Theatre in London. The theatre itself has quite a history to it, having originally been built in 1911. But this is in fact the third building, at least, to stand on the site. So there's quite a lot of history connected to this particular building. At the time that this particular footage was recorded, the theatre was home to Billy Elliot, the musical, having started there in 2007, before finally closing in 2017, with the actual footage dating from 2014. And, despite having over 100 uploads on its YouTube page, this is the only example of anything even vaguely paranormal that the site ever posted. The footage was captured on the internal CCTV system that was recording in one of the storage rooms. As you can see in this particular room, it's full of weeks. So, whatever happened in this room, it's a little hair-raising, if you excuse the joke. But here's the footage, just watch. At first, everything seems normal, and then the camera jolts for a second before the door suddenly opens. You can see that there's clearly nobody coming into the room, nor is there any kind of shadowing coming from the light outside. So if someone was actually standing by the door and opened it, we would have seen some form of shadow, and yet there's nothing there. Also note in the mirror opposite, we would see a person if there was someone even beside the door, out of frame of the main door. And yet there's nothing, but this is just the beginning. As strangely as it opened, the door closes. And then, what happens next is really quite astonishing. And then the footage just stops. As mentioned previously, there was no other examples of paranormal activity on any of the videos on their YouTube page. But just to confirm that this is actually from the theatre itself, here is one of the members of staff talking about the wigs in the wig room. As you can see, although it's from a different angle, it clearly is the same room. So what has the Palace Theatre's CCTV system captured? Is this actually a a genuine example of a haunting? Well, it does look as if someone has added extra effects onto the video footage, but that doesn't necessarily explain what the video footage has captured. So, it may well be real. Or maybe it's just an elaborate hoax. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. File 3 It's not often that an ardent sceptic changes their mind after an experience, but in the case of Australian reporter Helen Parker, 
That's exactly what happened. Watch. This is Dalhousie Castle in Scotland. It's 800 years old. And the reason why we're here is because the place is rumored to be haunted. Yes, Lady Catherine centuries ago was a troubled teenager whose mum and dad wouldn't let her see the love of her life. So she locked herself in a top room and starved herself to death. Well, she has shown up, they think, as a shadowy, smoky figure in a number of guest photographs who've stayed here. So tonight, we're going to stay here, have dinner down in the dungeon, and uh, have a look around to see if Lady Catherine makes an appearance. Stop! Okay, I get it! I'm going! I'm going! I came here not believing in ghosts, but all that would change. Nine hours before this encounter, I bunked down in my room at Dalhousie, the place is now a stunning hotel with views and fittings that give guests a taste of life from centuries ago. Yet when you think of the 800 year history, it's no wonder there have been ghost sightings here. Even the dining room was once a dungeon. So as the sun goes down and guests go to bed, it's lights off and time for me to start looking for Lady Catherine. A ghost. Catherine. Within its labyrinth of hallways and rooms, there's no sign of ghosts, but there's one place I haven't checked. It's now nearly two o'clock in the morning. I'm down here in the dungeon. We were having dinner earlier tonight down here. It's definitely a very, very different mood now. The rest of the castle have gone to bed. Now I should point out I'm the only one in the dungeon, just me and my camera, and I'm facing the only doorway. So, I've had no signs of her tonight. But if ever you were going to see a ghost, you think it would be here. So maybe it's all just rubbish. Maybe it's all just hocus pocus. Maybe there is no such thing as ghosts. What's up? Anyway, I'm prepared to wait. Catherine. Oh, Catherine. The chair next to me is about to start thumping on its own. You'll be able to clearly hear it. It's creeping me out now. <laughs> Okay, I get it. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, Catherine, I get it. <laughs> then something moves in the dungeon, but I'm okay. not staying to find out what it is. I'm freaking going. <laughs> I'd like to think. I like to think I'm a pretty rational person. But, um, and <laughs> if you're interested to play back what's on that tape. The chair banging on its own with such purpose is what scared me. <gasps> and an intense electric feeling down the right side of my face and head. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but I'm shaking like a leaf. Anyway, she was probably just knocking on the chair to say hello and can you let me out of this castle? In the beginning, I'd assumed either nothing would happen here or I'd fall asleep on camera. Whatever my encounter was, it was one of the biggest frights of my life. So that's Helen's experience. Now you may have seen this video footage elsewhere before, but nowhere else has actually tried to enhance it by increasing the light and make it sharper. So I've had a go. Have a look. See if there's anything else in the footage that you can spot. Had no signs of her tonight. But if ever you were going to see a ghost, you think it would be here. So maybe it's all just rubbish. Maybe it's all just hocus pocus. Maybe there is no such thing as ghosts. What's up? Anyway, I'm prepared to wait. Catherine. Oh, Catherine. The chair next to me is about to start thumping on its own. You'll be able to clearly hear it. It's creeping me out now. <laughs> <coughs> ah! 
Okay, I get it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, Catherine, I get it. Then something moves in the dungeon. In between the beeped out profanities, you can hear a high pitched scrape. Then, some, then something moves in the dungeon. Which is clearly the noise that Helen's talking about. I'm freaking going. But also, let's recheck the footage of the chair moving. The chair that actually makes the noises is to Helen's immediate right, so it's slightly out of frame. However, is there anything else going on in that area of the footage? Have a closer look. It may just be pixelation, but there seems to be yeah. something there. Wait. Catherine. Oh, Catherine. The chair next to me is about to start thumping on its own. You'll be able to clearly hear it. It's creeping me out now. <laughs> Okay, I get it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, Catherine, I get it. So did Helen capture more than she'd realised? Or is it just pixelation? What do you think? It's for you to decide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've made it this far and liked what you've seen, please click like and subscribe. Also hit the little bell icon because for some strange reason, if you don't hit that, you don't get the videos, even if you're subscribed. That's a strange one. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.